Um, in this tutorial, I'm going to explain how to perform Pearson correlation using SPSS. First of all, uh, we have to uh, get the data set on which we perform the test. So this is the um, data set called demo.sav, which is available in the installation directory of uh, SPSS. But we can work on any data set if you want to calculate the before carrying out the Pearson correlation test, we should note that both the dependent and independent variables should be in the ratio scale. For example, if you want to calculate the correlation between age and income, then we can use that test because age is a ratio scale kind of uh, numeric variable and income is also a ratio scale kind of numeric variable. So let's go to these steps. First of all, we have to go to analyze and then go to correlate go to bivariate and then take this age and uh, household income to the right in the list of variables similarly you can see that by default Pearson correlation coefficient is checked and the level of significance is by default two-tailed and we also can find out which were the significant correlations it will automatically flag those in the output. Similarly, if you go to options, there we can select the desired statistics. Normally, we select means and standard deviations. So let's click on that and click on continue and then click on OK. So when we do that, we can see the output viewer window in which the first table is the descriptive statistics, which shows the mean and the standard deviation of those two variables which are age and income in the second table we can see the correlation in which there is correlation coefficient here you can see the correlation between age and age is one of course it calculates the correlation with itself and the correlation between age and household income is 0 0.335 similarly you can see the correlation between household income Sorry, the correlation between household income and uh, age 0 0.335, which is the same uh, as previous, and also the correlation between income with itself is 1. So it shows the double redundant table with uh, the same values because it doesn't matter whether you correlate with um, age, uh, correlate age with income or income with age, it's, it's the same thing. And here you can see. Um, extra explanation we say that correlation is significant at 0 0.01 level of significance to tell because uh, we had checked uh, check the option to flag the significant correlation so in this way we can uh, compute Pearson correlation using SPSS thank you very much and see you in the next tutorial bye bye peace